Olive bars can be very big in some supermarkets and you can offer a large variety. In this store, basically because of room, we offer 86 different varieties. We have Cevolano, we have Kalamata, we have Beldi, we have Pichelin, we have Nishwa, you know, we have Costa Vetrano, we have Bella di Cerniola, okay? We have uh, Carolia, we have Arbequina, we have Hoji Blanca, we have Gordal, uh, we have Coquillo, we have, um, well you almost put me on the spot, we have Luke, we have, um, Amfisa, we have uh, Halkidiki, all right? We have Atlas. So anyways, we'll keep going. We offer the 86, but it's very fluid. My name's Anthony DePietro, and we're at Delalo's Italian Marketplace. We're east of Pittsburgh in Jeanette, Pennsylvania, located about uh, 25 miles outside of Pittsburgh. And my grandparents started this store in 1950. My grandfather used to go door to door with a, with a uh, van sell to all the, all the Italian communities within this area. People worked in the glass industry, people worked as, as coal miners. What my, him and my grandmother did is they saved up enough money, they bought a gas station that, and turned it into an Italian market. They kept on expanding and now we have our store here located on 30 that we've uh, continued to run since then. So we've been here 66 years. So you can buy produce here. We have a large selection of cheese, normally between 300 and 400 different varieties of cheese. You get a nice smoothness on the outside of the ball. We do a bunch of European deli as well as regular American deli. We have grocery. Scratch Bakery, we're making all of our pastry as well as bread here on premises. The bread that you see called Talonica bread is actually from my grandmother's hometown in Caserta. Caserta being north of Naples where she's from. Years ago, when time when my grandmother made a trip, she went and she met with my cousin, who actually was the town baker. They learned how to bake the bread in the stone hearth there. And when they were finished, what happened was, is my cousin Karmanuch gave my grandmother the starter in this ceramic bowl. So my grandmother said, what's this? And he said, well, this is the starter. You can't make the bread without it. My grandmother, being industrious and excited about the, the actual bread, said, OK, I have about 48 hours. She got on a plane that very next day got back to the store and started baking bread, and that's how we have this Talonica bread. For us, the olives is what we focused on as, as a company and a family to be our niche in, in business. So a lot of the olive bars, or most of the olive bars for that matter, you see in the United States, we're supplying the olive bar program. We package 100 different varieties of olives in different footprints. I'm Jeff Latimer, Director of Operations. Well, this is our production facility. We have six rooms in the building. We're the largest producer of olives and antipasta items in the country. But we have different formats, retail packages, and packages for our olive bar service and food service out across the country. On any given day throughout the building, we pack probably about five million olives in one day. This is our California Cevolano olive. We're running a product called Olive Giganti today with spices. Several lot of varieties were brought from Spain by Spanish missionaries when they started to immigrate to California. And what happened was, is this certain variety was taken on by Italian immigrants and cured in a Sicilian style. So what we do in California is we take Cevolano olives and we cure them in a Sicilian style. So we both cure olives in California as well as we have some orchards where we grow olives. And we also partner with farmers where we partner with them and we buy that crop. Mostly that's a unique item to Delilo's, so that separates us from a lot of our competitors. So we give a unique flavor profile that someone else can't give you. You take an item, it's a, it's a recipe. All the materials have to be put into a batch. They either go into a hopper or a, or a vat or a bowl. That product has to be weighed and put into the package. Then the package gets dated, labeled, put into a case, palletized, and then shipped down to newsstand for distribution. We actually select the we're doing national distribution. So in some uh, form or another, we're distributing to all 50 states, Canada, Mexico, and some of the Caribbean islands and alike. You know, what we sell is we sell table olives, all right? The olives you find in cans are black ripe olives, which is a whole different animal. I'm still getting my feet wet, I'm still learning. You know, people like my grandparents, my uncle, those are the people that really pioneered this business, brought it to fruition, and created something. My job here is, is to learn as much as I can to be a, a good ambassador of what my, my family is and what we do, 
and to be able to perpetuate what they've created.